All new at 11, religion and sexual identity. Can the two successfully exist? Some are asking this as the new global Methodist Church announced that it's splitting towards a more conservative and traditional outlook. WCNC Charlotte's Brianna Harper spoke to two local United Methodist pastors about different opinions about what the next step should be. You've probably spotted First United Methodist Church here in Uptown. It's actually near the starting point of the Pride Parade that the church actively participates in. But we've learned their ideas of LGBTQ acceptance isn't accepted by all United Methodist churches. This is a celebration of love for each and everybody. But instead of being united in this message, the United Methodist Church is now facing a divide. From the very beginning, the church has held that the practice of homosexuality is incompatible with the scriptures. And uh, this really has come to a head. So much so that at the start of May, those in support of a more traditional approach to LGBTQ acceptance decided to split into a new global Methodist church based on more conservative ideas. But at First United Methodist Church in Uptown, they're trading conservative for overall acceptance. Yeah, we feel that people who are LGBTQI are folks that God has created. And for that reason, the senior pastor says they're sticking with UMC to continue the mission that's long been a part of their ministry. Grace and inclusion and the marginalized and we're actually committed to the roots of Methodism. And meanwhile, other United Methodists are split on what this change can mean and how to move forward. This church in particular has um, uh, we've not made a decision one way or the other, but we're in some pretty regular conversation about what we should be doing and uh, certainly are praying for some guidance about that. And the next general conference for the United Methodist Church is set to take place in 2024, where this denominational divide is expected to be addressed. In Uptown, Brianna Harper, WCNC, Charlotte.